Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to start a new series here where I'm going to share with you the corrections I've gotten in class for the past month. So this is going to be a once in a month thing where I shared my questions with you. So my first correction is when I'm in a balance and my arms are in first. My shoulders have a tendency to come a bit in front. Instead, I need to open up my chest so that my shoulders are in line. And it looks much prettier. When doing a tendu to the back, Sometimes my leg goes a tiny bit to the side instead of straight to the back. When doing this correctly, I should feel it in my back. So that's something I'm really working on. So that my leg is going straight back instead of going to the side. Due to I have hyperextended knees, sometimes when doing a grand batman, the knee of my working leg bends a tiny bit. By the way, please don't look at the, my foot on the other leg here, it's so unpointed. Anyway, uh, due to the hyperextension, I'm trying to stabilize the knee on my working leg and not go over. And then it can get a bit wobbly and not stay in place and that's when I'm bending the knee. So for me it's just to build up more strength around the knee to not go so it's not going front and back and not locking it in this hyperextended uh, position also. The next correction that I've got is when doing front pace, especially then we're going to the side that when you come back you will stop exactly right of the mean here. I was crossing a bit over, especially when you're going fast and you doing doubles or you go too far as you stay there. Oh, balance is not here today. Like, just not crossing over. So instead you just go bum, bum, and we're right. So no crossing, working over here. Keep it close. Is on point or even half toe. It's that. So parallel, I try to if it stays in parallel, parallel, I can fall out a bit on my pinky toes. I have to stand more on the big toe. And this is also a thing I have, correction I've gotten, especially on point, I have to be more over the big toe to, well, you're using a whole different kind of muscles when doing this and being correct. And the final correction, I'm not sure if I can show you this in point shoes because I got it in one awesome point, is that I'm sort of, see if you can try, I go here, my toes are in line, but I go a bit further and clinch them, this is my toes, so I go, instead of just keeping them straight, I go like this, and you get an ugly bend here also. So I need to be a more bit up. See, there, going over too much. I need to be more, it's so hard. But yeah, I need to stay in line, which is really hard. Oh crap. There. But I go over too much. So that is the final one that I need to be more, keep my feet more straight on point, not point them too much. That fold my toes or whatever it is. I need to, I need to point with this piece of my foot, not the toes. I need to use the arch, those muscles, and let the toes just come, and not use the toes to clinch, because when I clinch my toes, I also get cramp in the knee head, which I also do like all the time. So, so yes. 
So that was the corrections I gotten for the past, I don't know, how long? Uh, a while, month or so. The tip is also to have a book where you write all your corrections down so you remember them. And I'm just using my calendar, since it's in the back, it has some pages for you to write in. So uh, I always like to memorize them, say, okay, writing this down, you know, for my, maybe in my phone, and I just keep it here. So I have them. So I just, just go over them once in a while, just to remember this is what I'm going to think about. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I also want to say thank you so much for all your lovely comments for my other videos. It makes me so happy. And I will see you in my next video.